Tracy, what are you actually doing right now? Are you being lazy watching TV and eating snacks? Wow, so convenient, isn't it? What are you talking about, Mom? I'm just taking a rest. So it must be a really long rest, because I've been seeing you sleeping and watching TV like this since very early this morning. And now, even when I come out of my room and go to the living room, everything just doesn't change just a little bit. I've been doing the housework all morning, and you were in your room all the time. You've never paid any attention to my work. Also, today's Sunday. I just want to have some tiny spare time for myself. Is that too hard for you to accept? Ah, so now you dare to speak against my words. Don't you feel ashamed about that? I'm not ashamed of anything. I've been working hard all week, and I deserve a break. I'm not a child anymore, and I don't need you to tell me what to do. You may not be a child anymore, but you're still my daughter. And as long as you live under my roof, you follow my rules. Your rules are outdated and unfair. I'm not going to live my life according to them anymore. You're being disrespectful. I'm your mother, and you should show me some respect. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just standing up for myself. Who do you think you are? Do you really think that you have the ability to control this house? Control me? Oh, no, you don't, lady. Just look at you a lazy and ignorant daughter-in-law. You simply don't have the right to argue with me in such a naughty voice. You are really being unreasonable. Can't you see that I work hard all day? Therefore, I deserve to be treated with respect. You work hard? What do you do? You just sit around all day watching TV and eating snacks. You don't do anything. Ever since you came to this house, it's gradually become such a mess. A dumpster. That's not true. I do the housework, I cook, and I take care of your grandchildren. Why do you always have to be angry with me like that? I've tried to do everything that I can to contribute to this house. Even when I'm snowed under with my work, too. That's not enough. You need to do more. You need to be a better wife and mother. All of your effort is not as much as a part of mine when I was a daughter-in-law. At that time, I even had to quit my job to take care of my family. I just wish you could at least do that thing to help your husband and this whole family too. But you decided to not obey that advice. It's absolutely not a thing that a daughter-in-law should do to her mother-in-law. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to upset you. I just want to be a good wife and mother too. What, mom? It's not that I want to upset you, but this is the 21st century. It's very normal for any married woman to have a career and pursue it. I also have a job that I'm passionate about. And it's not fair to force me to quit being a useless housewife. No, I'll never do that. Oh, here we go again with this never-ending debate. I knew that such a stubborn rascal like you would never obey any of my orders. Poor Jake. He's just a poor, miserable little child. I tried to warn him about this, but he didn't listen to his mom, and this is the consequence for his action. I know right away that you'll be of no good for him. So I have found him a new one. Then you'll be kicked out of this house right away. What's wrong with this mom? We simply loved each other, so we got married. Is that guilt? I didn't trick him or anything. I'm not ashamed of that. And you're being emotional. I don't know why you just continued denying all of my effort in contributing to this house. You just can't stop scolding me. And I will never accept that woman. I believe that Jake would feel the same way. What's wrong is your naughty and obstinate attitude. You just don't know your limit. I repeat. Now, you're still my daughter-in-law, and you're also Jake's wife. So it's a must that you have to obey both of us, and don't even ask why. And could you just tell me the point in doing that? Why do I have to suffer that life? It's a nightmare. Tell me, Mom. You're trying to make me become the free maid in this house, aren't you? I'm not coming here to be your maid. 
I'm your daughter-in-law. I have my own self-esteem. I have my own work. I do all the household chores in this house. And now you're saying that I am idle and irresponsible just because you see me taking a rest for one or two minutes? Mom, don't you think that's a little bit unfair to me? And if you are so angry about that, why don't you ask Jake to help me with the housework? Because I'm not a robot. I can't deal with everything just in a blink. I don't see anything wrong in this. It's you who refuses to get along with the simple habit of this house. And asking your husband to do the household chores? How ridiculous is that? His life is already miserable. Don't you ever put all of your burden on my son's shoulders. He's suffered enough. The reason I let you stay here is to make his life better, but you just keep doing the contrary. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I have let my son marry you, you lich! You're overthinking. He's much more idle than he seems. At home, when I'm working my ass off, he's lying in bed surfing the web or sleeping. You can't just jump to conclusions like that. So now you're complaining that your husband doesn't do enough? He works eight hours a day. Is that not enough for you? And mind your words, you're making me irritated. Don't you ever repeat these filthy sayings about my son or else I'll make your life miserable. Got it? Hey darling, your mom is being unreasonable. She just can't stop scolding me and blaming everything on me. She's trying to control my whole life. You have to have a word with her. Because I'm not going to be able to suffer this for long. Come on, Tracy. You're thinking too much. You know that my mom always pays attention to small things, right? Don't you think that it should not be a thing for you to complain about your mother-in-law? Jake, I'm not thinking too much. I'm telling you. She's been treating me like I'm not good enough for you and for this family. She's always finding fault with me, no matter what I do. She's even started to criticize the way I raise our kids. I can't take it anymore. I know you're upset, but you have to try to be patient with her. You're a daughter-in-law. It's your responsibility to obey her, don't you think? And she told me that you even wanted me to do the chores for you. I mean, life doesn't go like that. The housework tasks are for women, not men. So I think you'd better listen to her. And household chores are not that hard. Why do you have to make such a fuss about those trivial things? Are cleaning the house and sweeping the floor challenging for you to do? I guess not. Are you not listening to me? I'm the one who is suffering, not your mom. Why are you always on her side? I can't count how many times you saw me being scolded by your mother and didn't bother to stand by me. What kind of husband are you? You're losing your mind, Tracy. Don't you even know how to think? She is my mom. My one and only mom. It's common sense that I protect my mother, my family. So am I not your family? I'm your wife. Okay, enough with the talking. We've been arguing so much these days, and all of our fights and conflicts, all of them, lead to nothing. I don't want us to go this way. So, I have this idea. Why don't we move out and live a life with just our family? What? What do you mean? I mean, why not move out of this house and live in our house? You know what I mean, right, Jake? But our life here is still very good. Why do you come up with such an idea? Because I'm tired of being treated like an outsider. I'm tired of your mom always putting me down. I'm tired of feeling like I don't belong here. I know you're not happy, but I don't think moving out is the answer. Your mom is just trying to be protective of me. She loves me, and she wants what's best for me. I know she loves you, but she's also being controlling and manipulative. She's trying to keep us apart, and I won't let her do that. You don't know how painful it is hearing her words. It's just unbearable. I know she seems a little bit harsh, but you actually should be patient and try to understand her more. She just wants to help you to take better care of me, don't you think? No, she's trying to push you away from me. 
Just consider my words, Jake. If you still want me to be your wife, think carefully before you jump to any conclusions. I just want us to build a stronger relationship with each other. I don't want us to fall apart. And you can always visit your family, your mom, anytime you want. It's not like we're moving abroad or anything. We're just living a little bit separately from your family. It's exhausting to make your mom deal with each and every one of our problems, isn't it? I don't know, Tracy. It's a big decision. If we go, mom would be really sad and depressed. She is not as strong as you think. I understand that you're worried about your mom, but she's a grown woman. She'll be okay. If we can visit her often, she would really be happy for us, I'm sure. Don't you even think of the pains I have to bear when living in this house with your mom? Jake, maybe you don't know, but she just constantly says that I belong to this house, which makes me exhausted. I'm so stressed that I can't even pay attention to my own work. All days are just like nightmares to me. I don't know, Tracy. I need some time to think about this. I have been living with my mom for too long now. She would be really sad if she had to leave me. Of course, Jake. Take all the time you need. But please, don't think for too long. I can't just live like this anymore. If you have an answer, please tell me right away, okay? I know, Tracy. I'll think about it and give you an answer. I just need to make sure that I'm making the right decision for everyone involved. Tracy, how dare you do that to me? You just don't know how to behave. What did I do? I don't understand. What happened, Mom? What happened? Don't pretend you're so innocent like that. I've had enough of your acting. But I'm telling you the truth. I'm not doing anything. And I don't know why you have to make a fuss with me. So please just tell me what I've done. Okay. I'll spill the beans for you. Why on earth did you force Jake to move out with you? What? I didn't force him. I just suggested this option as a way for us to live independently. We really need some space and privacy to take care of our family on our own. Space and privacy? From me? Please, don't make me laugh. Well, young lady, I know what you're up to. You're trying to drive me away from Jake. You think that with your little tricks or your silly words, you can successfully persuade him to go with you. <laughs> You're so naive. You'll never manage to tear us apart. That's ridiculous. Why would I do that? I just told him to think about it, and I didn't make him move right away. We haven't made any official decision up until now, but I didn't tell him to say that to you right away. Why did he do that? Of course, he's my son. Therefore, he'll never hide anything from me. He's such a nice and obedient boy. Last night, he came to my room and said everything to me. Then, he said that he would never want to leave me and make me feel sad. So now, you know the answer. What? Seriously? I can't believe you're still going on about this. Jake would never betray me like that. Well, Jake did tell me himself, so maybe you should open your eyes and face the truth. Oh, please. He was probably just saying that because he felt pressured by you. You're always trying to control him. Are you sure that it's the right choice to allow him to stay here? In this house? Don't you think that your decision will make him become too dependent on you? Control him? Dependent? Are you kidding me? I'm his mother. It's my responsibility to guide him and ensure he makes the right choices in life. I did fail when persuading him not to marry you, but this time, I'll never let you steal him from my hand once again. Yeah, right. Like you know what's best for him. He's an adult now, and he's perfectly capable of making his own decisions. Excuse me? I've raised him and taken care of him his whole life. I think I know a thing or two about what's best for my own child. Well, maybe it's time you realize that he's not a little boy anymore. He needs to live his own life and make his own mistakes. He may not be a little boy, but he's still my son. 
and I'll always be there for him no matter what. Oh, how touching. But guess what? He can't stay dependent on you forever. He needs to learn to stand on his own two feet. I know that, but he'll never be prepared enough to live his life all on his own. Therefore, I'll be the one who gives him advice and guides him to go the right way. But mom, life isn't all rainbows and butterflies. He needs to face the challenges and learn from them. And I think that working eight hours a day won't do it because he hardly does anything. I came to his workplace once and I just saw him playing games all the time. He simply doesn't know how to handle his life himself. He's been spoiled by you. What? Spoiled? Tracy, mind your attitude. Because it's getting too far. I'm doing the thing that all mothers will do for my son. There's nothing wrong with that. You're a mom too. Why don't you understand that? Yes, I'm a mom. But I know that being too protective could bring about bad consequences. Without your overprotection, Jake would never become such a useless husband like this. Don't you dare say that about your husband. He's my whole life. So if you dare bring him away from me, I'll find a way to take him back. You should know that you're being insane. But I am not your weak little daughter-in-law anymore. I won't just stand here and see you break my family. I'll persuade him to leave with me no matter what. I believe that I can finally do it. Fine. Now you reveal your true face. Just imagine what Jake would feel when hearing this. Tracy, you think that you could just steal Jake from me and then get away with it easily? Oh, you don't. Mark my words. I am not a simple miserable mother-in-law you may think. You think I would just stay here and watch you take over my family? Wrong! You can just run far away, but I'll resort to anything to take back what's mine. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do? You'll see soon enough, Tracy. I'll fight tooth and nail to protect what's mine. Jake is my son, and I won't let you just waltz in and steal him away. This is getting ridiculous. You're acting like some sort of soap opera villain. Just face the truth. You can't control his every move. Well, we'll see about that. The war has just begun. I'll find a way to make you leave this house, or even make you disappear from this house, so that you won't be able to mess around in my house. Make me disappear? What do you mean? You want to kill me? What a horrible mother-in-law you are. I'm not mentioning anything about killing you. But it's you who's suggesting that. <laughs> well, but if you know your place in this house, I'll leave you a way out. I'm not that cold-hearted if you show your obedience and understanding. What will happen if I don't do that? Then I'll have to do what I have to. Hey, Tracy! Are you home, dear? I'm home! Have you cleaned the floor yet? I'm looking forward to seeing our house being speckless. Hi! Hello! Where are you, dear? Oh! I know! You're dead! <laughs> Finally! I can get rid of you! We can get rid of you! I can't believe it that I made it. I didn't even have to do it myself. Now I can finally have my son back. He'll never leave me anymore. <laughs> and I am so brilliant, aren't I? Oh, hi mom. I'm here. Wow, what a tiring day, isn't it? And yes, quite brilliant, I suppose. What? Who are you? Are you really crazy? But... But you're... I'm dead, right? Don't worry, I'm not a zombie. But it's true that I'm alive. B but how? I thought you're dead. Are you a ghost? Of course not. I'm texting you with my own phone. But... It's impossible, because I made sure that you're dead. I... 
You hired an assassin to kill me, right? Yes. And he has just come back here and said that he did kill you. He even described how he did that. He'll never lie to me because I gave him a lot of money for that. This can't be happening. I heard every single word from him. But how can you be here? It's just unbelievable. Well, well, well. Calm down, mother. I understand it must be shocking for you, but sometimes things aren't what they seem. But how could it all happen like this? Just explain to me everything. Don't ever tell a lie to me. <laughs> okay, okay. It's so funny seeing you become miserable like this. Okay, first, let me explain. Well, you think that I'm that naive? Oh no, old lady. I knew everything. Actually, I've been suspicious of you these days. You had a lot of calls from a really strange number, and you even went out a lot without telling everyone where you would go. Moreover, I sometimes even felt like I was being followed from my workplace. But what a pity I couldn't have enough evidence to make a conclusion. So last Wednesday, after dinner, I saw you going out almost immediately. So I followed you and listened to all of your plans. How cruel is that? Then, I just came home and pretended like nothing had happened. I knew that today, you and your secret assassin would begin your plan. He would kill me when I was on my way home, right? Unfortunately, I'd already had my busting plan. Today, you saw me go to work, right? Yeah, I did go to work today. But before that, I called the police so that they would be available when your assassin came. Finally, when he came and was nearly about to kill me, the police rushed to him and immediately arrested him for attempted murder. This can be happening. I can't believe my ears. But, but, but how could he come back to me? And he even told me that he successfully killed you. Then he even took money from me. If he was arrested, he would never be able to do that. How did you find out? How did you turn the tables on me? It's simple, Mom. The con artist you hired turned out to be more talkative than you anticipated. He spilled all the details to the police, including your involvement in masterminding the plan. This can't be real! I worked so hard to cover my tracks to keep everything hidden. But you underestimated us, Mom. We were one step ahead. We knew something was off, so to catch you red-handed, we decided to play along. Make him tell you false information about my death. And it worked like a charm. You immediately gave him the money, and bingo! We have the evidence. So that means... No way. No way. It can be. Oh, the look on your face, Mom. Priceless. Yes, we're in your backyard, observing your every move. I can see you through the window, waving at you right now. Can you see me? Oh, can you see the police and your assassin as well? Wow, you're so lucky. They came here just for you. <laughs> well, what are you going to do now, Tracy? Are, are you going to turn me into the police? That decision is up to you, Mom. You don't have a choice. Just be nice and surrender yourself to the authorities and face the consequences of your actions. Maybe it would be an advantage for you at the court. I don't want to lose you, Tracy. I don't want our family to be torn apart. Is there any way we can fix this? I'll do anything, Tracy. I am so sorry for what I've done to you. Please, forgive me. I'll become a better person. I don't want to live with this guilt and deception all my life. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Are you truly my mother-in-law? Where was that arrogant look one week ago? You should know how to behave with your mother-in-law. Ugh, it's disgusting. You tell me to behave, and what did you do? You even hire an assassin to kill me. You want to get rid of me that bad? Just because I want to move out? You're absolutely crazy. No, Tracy, 
I was just too blind to see your efforts every day. I'm so sorry to look down on you, and I don't hate you at all. In fact, I love you too so much that I don't want to be left out. Please, would you just please forgive me and everything I've done? I'll give you everything, even my son. You are a mother too. Then you understand why I had to do it, right? No, I don't. You're just being crazy and out of your mind. How could you do this? To your own daughter-in-law? To a person? Am I nothing to you? Right from the moment I heard your scheme, I made up my mind that I didn't have a mother-in-law. So from now on, Mrs. Lucy, we're over. We're no longer daughter and mother-in-law. And your son? He's useless. I don't need such a coward like that. I finished my divorce petition. And we'll give it to Jake right away. Everything will be settled soon. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll never see me again. But for now, Mrs. Lucy, we don't have much time. So know your situation and confess everything to the police. You don't have any way to escape. The police have been waiting all around your house. That's it for me. So long, Mrs. Lucy, and good luck. No, Tracy. You can't leave me like this. Even now, I'm still your mother-in-law, right? So please tell them to get lost and save me from this mess. Tracy, I'm begging you. Please, save your mother. Tracy, where are you? They're arresting me right now. Tracy! After that, I blocked everything from Mrs. Lucy. I was so scared even when I thought of her. Mrs. Lucy was then taken to the police and had to receive imprisonment for her crime of murdering. It might be hard for her, but she should have prepared for that in advance. About Jake, after knowing his mother's miserable situation, he was in serious shock. He then crawled to me and begged to save his mother. But no way would I do that. Such was my disgust that I gave him the divorce petition right away. No matter how hard he cried for forgiveness, I just didn't care. I just want to get away from this toxic family as soon as possible. Knowing that he would have no hope of gaining love and money from me, Jake then agreed to sign in the divorce paper. From then, without any support, he had to go out there and make as much money as he could to save his mother. But all of his effort went in vain. And of course, he couldn't find another woman to be his wife, because no one would want to have a mother-in-law like that. After the divorce, I was finally free. Then, I brought my children back to live with my parents. I was happy that they could finally get rid of such a cruel grandma like Mrs. Lucy. Therefore, I'll try my best to raise them and teach them to be nice and warm-hearted people. This experience might be a bit horrible to me, but it taught me to be careful with everyone because you wouldn't know what they were truly planning behind you.